about 15% of underwater welders are killed on the job due to explosions, electrical shock, and faulty equipment. That's one of the highest on-the-job mortality rates in the Western world. Diving at night only increases the risk. This type of diving's dangerous enough, but Duke doing it at night, he's quite the man. Get on the end of that line and don't let it get too loose, too tight. Normally, I really don't like to dive at night. Anything can happen, and when you can't see, that just makes it worse. But Mike's a friend. He's got to get that boat back out in the ocean, so he's got to do what we got to do. You're at the keel? I can see the keel. Let me know when you locate the sea chest. Roger that. These diver guys are crazier. I mean, I can see someone doing it like in California or on the East Coast or something. We know, but in Alaska, it's way too cold here, man. All right, I think I just picked up the sea chest here. Might have to go forward a couple more inches on these wells. The weld failed to penetrate the full thickness of the hull. Duke can see the crack, but can't reach it. So the QMA team will have to do more welding in the engine room to finish the job. We were all hoping we could go home and get a nap. Thought we were all done, but Duke found a problem, and it looks like we're gonna have to go back to work. Guys, we got another problem down here. Big trouble down here. 